what's your best bet for 2019? First of all, what asset class? Is it equities? Do you, do you, you know, is it bonds or actually do you just go to gold or cash? <laughs> I'm a fixed income investor, so you know it's going to be something, <laughs> something fixed income. Um, I mean, I think certainly there has been value created in equity markets, but also as well when you look at fixed income, some of the moves in U.S. high yield spreads. Uh, you look at where we are now, trading above 400. There is value there, so we we are looking at things where there's valuation and U.S. high yield looks attractive, but then also where the, there's a fundamental story. So local government bonds in some of the low yield markets, Asian markets, where we are seeing a growth slowdown and central banks have been forced to tighten into this. So as the U.S. Fed cycle um, starts to fall behind us and we start to talk about the Fed remaining on hold, these central banks will have scope to ease back and we should see those bonds perform well. Okay, what do you see? I mean, I know you all have special, you know, specialties, but is it your specialty that will drive the markets or is it something else, Kate? Uh, look, we're going to start the year with, with the equity market in charge, and then I think bonds will take over for much of the year and everything else is fallout. I, I think it's a bad year for the dollar over the course of it. Um, I, I, I hardly ever like gold, but it is Christmas, so I, I, I can like gold at this time of year. For jewelry uh, or something else? For just generally, no, just as a, <laughs> if I'm negative of the dollar and I don't like anything else, that seems to me to be as good, a, and, and real yields, tips yields are falling back, that seems as good a gold environment as, as, I'll, as I'll pick up. And certainly, you know, I don't mind being bearish of the dollar, but I, 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 there's, nothing, there's nothing much to like about the pound or the euro. The, the yen a little bit more so, but it's, it's, not, it's not a fantastic outlook. I, I, do think, I do think it might be a year when you know, cash does pretty well, hence, hence gold probably too, but it's not, you know, equities, equities are cheaper, yeah. but some of the bits that drove the correction got very expensive to a, to a layman. Um, bonds are you know, looking as if they're turning into a long-term bull market, but we didn't get yields as high as you'd like to make it. A, so, you know, I, bullish of buns at 23 basis points isn't, isn't one of those exciting things if we're going to have a conversation about the ECB ever raising rates, for example. So you know, there's, not, there's not tons of value in government bonds. Um, Diana, is, is the biggest question mark over fixed income actually what the hell happens to bonds in Germany? And we've kind of, we've been waiting for this repricing for such a long time, and it's just not coming. And I think we're not likely to see that repricing happening in the first quarter. Okay. We'll be dealing with Brexit, we'll have, I mean, there's a lot of uncertainty still around trade that needs to be resolved within the first quarter. But if we can maneuver through that and if we get favorable outcomes, if the US and China come to a deal on trade, um, if the Brexit outcome is something a little bit softer for the markets, then it will give the ECB scope to continue with what they're doing, which is stepping back from overly accommodative policies, and that will support our repricing. Okay, German bonds, what do you do with them? So uh, the most attractive asset class in 2019, I have to agree with them that cash and precious metals looks good but i do believe the use case for crypto as being another store of value so obviously we have to watch the stock market because it's been uh, very correlated to the crypto markets um, and like i said for now it does seem historically cash and commodities have been the better asset class in these uh, bear markets but at the same time, you know, there is a possibility that there is a reversal. Um, if you have watched the previous video, they had mentioned that profitability for some of these companies in fundamentals looks really good. So for me, I do believe diversification is the best way to go and to just be patient. Um, I do feel like if you are going to be sitting on cash, uh, there's higher yielding accounts that you can look into. And one of them I mentioned was Robinhood. Uh, and if you haven't had a chance, you can sign up. There's a link below. But, you know, getting 3% and just waiting for the next opportunity or for the me next bull market might be a good idea. Um, but at the same time, just be careful in this market because we are in a bear trend with both cryptos and gold. And there hasn't been anything to show that this trend is going to reverse. And sometimes just sitting on cash um, and getting your 3% or 2%. But... 3% with Robin Hood. Um, it, it could be the safest bet, but let me know your thoughts on this and what you guys think, and I will talk to you soon.